when you see Judaism came, they were expecting a prophet, Messiah, Messiah, which means a liberator from who? From the peoples like Musa alayhi salam, Moses when he came, he liberated people from Pharaoh's bondage. So same were expecting from Jesus of Nazareth because Romans were ruling them and Caesar was there in Rome and Herod Antipas was there. So they were having a concept and a prophecy that the Christ will come. This Christ word is basically from the Greek words anointed for some purpose. And the purpose was to liberate these people from this Romans bondage. So they knew that somebody gonna come very soon after Elijah. I don't wanna go into detail. So when Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, peace be upon him, came, they rejected him. After several exhibits, after several evidence, he showed to them in many places, if you read many present Gospel of John in the time of Lazarus when he, this event came, you see then John chapter 11, he said that I am doing this all things that people, they believe that you have sent me down. I'm doing these all things, these, uh, these uh, scenes I'm creating, the Lazarus come and the God, you also, you always hear me, my groaning in my heart, all these things you are doing to show that somebody sent me. Book of Acts chapter 2 verse 22, ye men of Israel, hear these words, or Nazareth, hear these words, what? That the Jesus Christ, the son of man, God sent him, which he performed many miracle, miracle, miracles in front of you and you yourself also know it. So these things were what? To show. But what happened at the end? They rejected him. So once they rejected him, so the pending of this uh, slot has been reserved for who? Antichrist. They say, Masiha, Mashiach is coming, but we believe it. No. How? When this thing happened, Jews, they said that he is not our Messiah because he does not have those kind of prophecies. Of course, they were lying. Jesus Christ showed them many things, but they rejected him. Anyhow, I'm talking fundamental issues here, not detailed introspections. So once they rejected him, of course, they have a slot that somebody will come Messiah. Jesus Christ, when he came, they, there was a sect, Jews sect became Christianity. Saul of Tarsus, he manipulated everything and he joined and coined this Christianity, Trinity, Greek philosophy, all this. That's why Joe Michael H. Hart, he said it, that why I picked Jesus Christ on number third? Because this religion was to be shared between Paul, Saul of Tarsus and Jesus of Nazareth. And that is true. Because the concepts were coming from Paul of Tarsus, even in book of, and he himself claimed to be the, uh, the elective disciple of Jesus Christ, where he was not among the list. Anyways, when Jesus Christ came, they took him as a scapegoat Christians, this sect of Jews, the follower of Pauline's, Paul's, Paulianity, I call it, it's not Christian, Paulianity. And then this all thing changed into a new face, Christianity. Jesus never teach Christianity, never said word Christianity, Christian is not Greek words. Christos meaning anointed, appointed or Masaha, Mashhia, meaning some rub by the oil. That is what Christ, Christos become Christ from where Mashhia means some was anointed because of course he was anointed for some purpose. And when the Dajjal will come, he will also be appointed, anointed as a purpose for the Jews. And that point inshallah I will elaborate further. So. I hope you understand till now. Let me go further now. So, when Islam, when the Christians came, they took out of a religion and they created a philosophy relationship that he was son of God and somehow crypt all these original same mythological logos, Numa, Greek philosophies, and just all mixed and blend up into a Christianity. And still you have disputations over Trinity, about the about the divinity, about the deity of the status of the Christ, what stature he has it in the Christian dumb, you're still debating. And I'm not one I don't want to go into that, but the point I have made is very clear. So this thing you have it for centuries, thousands of years in Christianity, in Christendom, still it's not resolved yet. 
So, Christ, they believe Masiha was there, but anyways, the Jews, they killed him, and then he just died. After, after three days, he resurrected, and then Christianity came into being.